Hello everyone and welcome back to Bitcoin Tips. So as you saw in the title of the video, I'm going to be showing you how to start mining Ethereum today using any computer that runs Windows 10. So before we get into the video, I do want to let you know that the links to the programs and sites that I talk about in the video are in the description below. If you're interested in it, I do recommend you use those links because there are a lot of scams out there and the software that you will be installing, I have installed personally on my computer and have had no issues with it. So make sure you use those links. I do not get any kind of bonuses or anything from them, but just to make sure you get the right programs and no phishing or virus programs, I would use those links. Also, before we get into the video, I've noticed a large number of you are not subscribed to the channel, so make sure you hit that subscribe button and click the bell icon to receive post notifications for whenever we upload a video here on Bitcoin Tips. And finally, I want to say a huge thank you to James P. He is our paid member here on Bitcoin Tips, making videos like this about mining and physical hardware a lot more possible through the small donation to the channel. So thank you to James P. So let's get into the video today. So. As you can see, Ethereum, number two cryptocurrency on the coin market cap, today it's up 0.48%. The last seven days, 63.4%. That is a huge increase over the last seven days. Um, that's over half its money has doubled if you had some Ethereum. So it's $1,200, over $1,200 right now. And as you can see, Bitcoin, 38,000, almost 39,000. Pretty much good rule of thumb is if Bitcoin's gonna keep going up, so is Ethereum, so is the other cryptocurrencies. But with this increase in Bitcoin and this increase in Ethereum, a lot more people have started to want to be a part of cryptocurrency and mine. So I've done a few videos um, over the last couple weeks about mining. I personally mine using Hive OS. Um, I've shown how to start mining in five minutes using uh, a program called NiceHash, which is a free mining program. But with that being said, this video is going to show you how you can mine Ethereum using a Ethereum pool and a specific miner, not using a third party program like NiceHash or HiveOS. Um, this is a really good solution if you want to have more control over what you're mining and how you're mining it than using NiceHash. But also don't want to install a full operating system so i think this is the perfect in between um, and it does get you into crypto mining a little bit more so before we get into setting up the miner what i do want to let you know is to do this you do have to have a ethereum wallet so for the purposes of this video i'm going to use my atomic wallet uh, it's a free open source wallet that you can use to um, store your cryptocurrency. So I'm going to go ahead and just pull up the Ethereum page here and you can see I do have zero Ethereum right now. Uh, just bring up the address. Uh, you will need this later so I do recommend that you get a Ethereum wallet whether it's Atomic, Exodus, or something like Metamask or Crypto.com. As long as you have a valid Ethereum address that's all you need. So we have this here for later but what we're going to go ahead now and do is go to the GitHub for LOL Miner. Now this is the program that I've chosen to kind of show off. There's a ton of miners out there. This one was just updated yesterday, so it's got uh, pretty much the best of the best right now. They do release updates all the time for it. And like I said at the beginning, the link to this GitHub is in the description below. This is the official GitHub. The link I used, this one right here. Now I did download this prior to the start of the video, so I have the files here. Um, what you have to do is you will get, get a zip file, just extract it using whatever extraction tool you like, WinRAR, um, anything like that, or just the built-in one in Windows 10. And once you get the files, you're going to see all of these things here. Um, mine ETC, mine BTG, mine Bit2, Beam. Uh, all of this stuff. So we're going to be focusing on mine ETH. That's going to be the one I talk about today. Now, with that being said, you'll see right here below it is mine ETH 4G. If you have a graphics card that has less 4 gigabytes of memory or less, you're going to want to use this one here. Anything above 4 gigabytes, mine ETH will be perfect for you. 
I currently have in my computer a GeForce GTX 1660 Ti, which does have six gigs of video memory. So I will be using the Mine ETH for this video. So let's get into the next step here. You can see I'm getting some comments, but uh, let's get into the next step. So what you have to do here is double click the Mine ETH and you're gonna get this pop up here. Windows protected your PC. You're going to get this notification because mining programs like LOL Miner, NiceHash, things like that are flagged by almost every antivirus software because a lot of viruses and programs that install on your computer for viruses use your hardware to make money. And that's exactly what we're doing here, but the only difference is you're making the money, not some hacker or virus guy who just infected your computer. So like I said, if you use the link below or got to this GitHub in a different way, this is a 100% safe program. So all you have to do is click the more info and say run anyway. Now you get this kind of uh, screen here. This is what it'll look like, which we'll come back to in just a minute. Okay, so I close that out because I don't want it running with the uh, video recording in the background right now, but um, what you're gonna go ahead and do is instead of double clicking to open it, right click and say edit. This is going to open up the notepad of the Windows batch file. Now you can see there's some different stuff in here that's looking a little um, strange almost, but what we're gonna go ahead and do is now that we've got this open, the third link in the description will be a link to ethermine.org. This is the pool that I chose to use just because it's one of the biggest, most popular. There's absolutely no reason that you have to use this one over another one. Um, this is just the one that I chose to demonstrate for the video. The process that I show you over the next couple steps of setting up the file is going to be almost identical for any pool that you use. So if you did decide to use Ethermine, you'll just come up here and click Start Mining. And here you can see we have a couple different options. So you can choose where you are. I'll go ahead and use the US 1 East. Copy that and bring this back up. Here you can see this is the pool. So we're gonna go ahead and paste this in right there. And then wallet address, this is where you're gonna need the wallet address for the miner. So this is where we go ahead and copy this and you can set your wallet right here. So that's the wallet address from my atomic wallet. And as you can see here, there's some other stuff here, the stratum port 4444. We can go ahead and just put that in to avoid any issues. So that would be a colon and then 4444. And we have our wallet. This does not call for any of the login information. So the, uh, as you can see, username is just the wallet address, which if we go back to here, wallet address, that's what that is. And then here there is no password for the pool, just leave it empty. So just like that, what you go ahead and do is say file save. It goes ahead and saves it with that information in it. And then you can go back to your file and double click and run it. So now it's gonna start mining through the ether.com pool to my wallet. You can see my wallet address here. This is the pool that I have connected to. Um, so kind of talking about what we have going on here, when it says new job received, this is a new uh, kind of equation coming in that's part of the Ethereum uh, mining program and the mining algorithm. So as you can see, each one's kind of going through um, as new jobs come in. And right now you can see that my average speed, it is getting up there still, is 12.02 mega hashes. So it's going to continue running here, just making sure that we don't crash anything with the recording still going, because as you can see, the GPU is currently 100% used. Now remember, I am recording the video as well, but you can see that this is going to use your GPU quite a bit. So. This is something that you would want to do when you're not gaming, not making videos, whatever you do with your computer. You don't really want to be doing two things at once if you're mining. So when I was talking there, you can see I found a share. It was accepted, which means I've helped this pool 
get closer to solving a block. As you can see, I just got another one, um, and I've gotten up to 21.86 mega hashes of my average over the last 30 seconds. So that should hopefully update here pretty soon. And you can see we're up to about 21.91, which is probably about where I'm going to be between 20 and 23 mega hashes for this one card. Um, but again, you can see 100% usage. And at this point, all you have to do is go ahead and just forget about it. As long as this is running, you're going to be mining and you should start to see some payouts go into your wallet again whether that's your atomic wallet exodus crypto.com metamask whatever wallet you chose you should start to see some payouts once you get to that limit now again the limits are going to be different for every pool the amount you earn could be different uh, and vary from pool to pool it really does come down to a certain amount of luck once you've chosen a pool if you might have a good day where your pool mines a bunch of blocks and, and does really well and the next day you might not get as much but you're still providing the same amount of power. Those are just some of the variables in cryptocurrency mining. Um, here is my overall statistics. You can see right now I have about 19.94 mega hashes on my card. The pool has about 53. Best share, best shares I have two accepted, zero rejected, and zero invalid, which is cool. It looks like it's uh, using about 103 watts, and I'm getting about 0.19 two mega hash per watt so and my card is running at 70 degrees fan at 72 percent so that's kind of how you read what's going on here i'm going to go ahead and stop this just to uh, bring the gpu usage down since i am still making the video here it doesn't look like we caused any issues but who knows <laughs> okay so now that i got that stopped here you can see that there's a bunch of other coins that you can mine in here um Again, the process to setting up each one of these files is going to be very similar. Once you find a pool, you'll just have to enter in the pool address if it requires a username and password and the stratum port. So these are all for different kinds of coins, but overall, like if you were to look and see what the mine for four gigabyte one, it's gonna look very, very similar. Now again, you just gotta find the right pool. We'll say, let's see, Beam is another popular one. So the files overall look pretty similar you just have to put in the right information for the pool the wallet and then if the uh, username or pool address and all that are different then you'll have to edit these here but most of the time it will just be your wallet address so hopefully you guys have found this video helpful to start mining ethereum using windows 10 um, not through a program like NiceHash or Hive OS or anything like that um, this is like i said the next step up in my opinion from something like minergate or nice hash because it gives you a lot more control over what you're doing you can switch pools very easily whereas with nice hash you're pretty much tied to their pools um, and then from this point on you can use a program like msi afterburner to do some overclocking now of course be careful with overclocking if you don't know what you're doing i would stay away from it altogether because you can't overclock too much and kill your hardware as always with mining, make sure you have adequate cooling, adequate power, and you, that you just kind of keep an eye on it, especially when you're first starting off. You don't want to get things too hot. You don't want to have things pulling too much power. Um, it can harm your hardware and most likely will shorten lifespan. So that is something to think about. Um, on my mining computer, I recommend my personal uh, settings are at least having the fan up around 75 to 80 percent speed to keep everything at a reasonable temperature of about 60 to 70 degrees celsius which is still really hot so always make sure you're looking into the limits power limits and temperature limits of all your hardware before getting into this but other than that if you like this video leave a like if you didn't leave a dislike and let me know why you didn't like it down in the comments below and if you have any questions or comments about mining or cryptocurrency in general, leave a comment down below or check out the Discord at the link in the description below. We've got over 2,000 people talking about all things cryptocurrency, so there's a lot of people over there who will definitely be happy to help you with any questions. So please like, share, and subscribe to my Bitcoin Tips YouTube channel to learn more about spending, collecting, earning, and investing different types of cryptocurrencies. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye.